Conus Heihe may have started life as a titanium hardtail, but in recent years it has fulfilled the role of cross-country race bike. The new 2016 platform attempts to blur the line a little between XC and trail by splitting the range down the middle. On the one hand you have the Heihe race with 100 millimeters of travel front and rear and on the other hand you have the Heihe trail with 120 millimeter fork and 100 millimeters of travel at the back. Essentially, it's exactly the same frame with just a longer travel fork. More importantly, perhaps, is that Kona has taken inspiration for the new Heihe from their successful process range. So this means longer top tubes, longer front centers, slightly slacker head tubes, lower BBs, and shorter chainstays. They also run shorter stems and wider bars and a slightly different suspension feel as well. Effectively, they're trying to make the Heihe into a bit of a dual purpose bike something that works well for XC racing and for trail riding. Basically a more trail worthy package, more contemporary geometry and ride feel. Much like the giant stance, Kona has opted for a pivotless rear triangle. The seat stays and chain stays flex by 1.5 degrees through the travel. And by getting rid of the pivot at the back, save weight, reduce complication and increase stiffness. Now, it's not something you really notice when you're riding, we were only running around four clicks from fully open on the rebound, so we weren't having to overcompensate for the stored energy within the rear end. The Kona claims a 240 gram saving over the previous Hey Hey with this new design. And the frame weights are coming in at about 2.2 to 2.4 kilos, depending on the size. This bike you see here, the Hey Hey Deluxe Trail, weighs 12.8 kilos in size large. So how does the geometry differ to the Process 111, which is Kona's short travel 29er? Well, it's almost identical. You've got the same head angle, you've got the same seat angle, five millimeter shorter reach, slightly higher standover. The BB is a fraction lower on this bike. So it's very close in ride feeling to the Process 111. But you don't have quite as much suspension travel and the frame isn't as sturdy as the process. So if you want something that you can really charge into stuff, the process is probably still the bike to have. But you're saving a lot of weight with this bike. It feels a lot more sprightly, accelerates better. So if you're kind of more of an XC guy and you like to do trail riding and a bit of cross country or marathon racing, then this is the bike that we'd choose over the process. We took this bike down uh, one of the enduro single track trails around here in Surfaus yesterday and uh, pretty impressed by how well it coped with what was a quite a rowdy trail. There's a lot of loose rock, a lot of uh, high speed sections, ruts, and a lot of stuff that would normally kind of pinball a XC race bike off the trail, but we could really like open up the taps on this bike, charge, super fun to ride it's got a really playful feel to the suspension and the geometry it really kind of didn't feel like an xc race bike and i think that's a really good thing so the hey hey range consists of four models there's two race models and two trail models the deluxe versions of both race and trail come in at 2799 pounds and the more affordable version of both models is £2,099. The signs range goes from small all the way to extra large, so four sizes in total. I think what we like about the Hey Hey most of all is that it's a race bike that feels just as at home outside the tapes as inside them.